So, um, I hired a motorbike. Oh, it's not a motorbike, it's a moped. And this is going to be my first uh, motorbike vlog. So I quite like watching motorbike vlogs. So it's, uh, it's nice to be on the other side and be making one. So I'm going to double this up. This is going to be um, a motorcycle vlog and it's going to be a, a review. So we've all heard the hype. surrounding this stuff. This is a uh, Thai Sprite. So, let's see uh, what the fuss is all about. Uh, apologies for the audio if that sounds pretty horrible. Because uh, what I'm using for audio here is um, uh, basically I take the phone, strapped to the side of my face uh, in a sock. Okay, um, it definitely tastes different to stuff in the West. It tastes uh, a lot sweeter. I wouldn't describe it as pleasant. It tastes uh, extremely artificial. It's like an artificial sweetener. Uh, topped off with like a fucking bag of brown sugar. Um, yeah, it's really not not that good. Can't say I'm a fan of it. Uh, I suppose if you've got like a, a serious addiction to sweet things, it might be like just up your up your alley, you know. But um, yeah. It's not that good, eh? Uh, it, it tastes like the, the sort of lemon, lemony taste isn't the same as the Sprite in the West either. It's almost not as strong, or maybe it's just like overpowered by the fucking two bags of sugar or whatever that's poured in here. I'm imagining, I've not had this like sugar water that some people have, but I'm imagining it's not too far off this. This is like, uh, yeah, a bag of brown sugar, a couple of those like artificial sweeteners, um, mix it with water and then, I don't know, put in like a lemon flavored sweet. That's probably what you, what you got here, so. Uh, yeah, don't believe the hype, um, it's, I mean, I'm not a massive fan of Sprite uh, uh, in any way, but it's definitely not nicer than the West one, one in the West. Uh, it tastes cheaper, it tastes more sugary, it tastes, uh, it's just not as good. I won't be buying a can again. I bought this just for the review more than anything else. So, uh, yeah, I just took a, uh, I took the bike out of the city and I'm just like cruising all along the coast. Um, I'm not ridden for about two years, so uh, I'm taking it easy. But to be honest, I've driven in uh, much sketchier places, like I've, I've ridden in Vietnam and um, this feels like quite safe compared to there. Uh, compared to the West, uh, I mean, the statistics are pretty bad for, for accidents here. I think it's like 50 or 60 people a day die on the roads, but there's a, there's a nice mixture of cars and bikes. And one of the reasons I feel kind of safe here is, um, from what I've seen so far, uh, compared to the West, there's a lot more randomness. The traffic's a lot more random. People do like unexpected things all the time. And although that might appear to be more dangerous, what it really does is it, it keeps, uh, keeps you on your toes, it keeps you paying attention. And I think uh, it's complacency and not paying attention 
which uh, is probably the most dangerous thing on a bike. Um, so yeah, like it keeps you alert, the, the randomness keeps you alert. I mean, I've been quite lucky, I've never had a, a motorbike crash so far, like, and I've been riding 20 years on and off. Um, I say never, I've had like, uh, I've had one on a dirt bike, but that wasn't on the road, and um, I've had a, I've had a crash on the road, but it wasn't really a motorbike crash, I was stationary, like both feet on the ground, and then a vehicle uh, basically drove towards me, and I had to, I jumped off at the last, very last fucking second, it was like matrix shit, and um, I jumped off and then the, the vehicle just destroyed the bike, like, I'd have been dead. But it's, it's a motorbike crash, but it's not, you know, I mean, I've never been riding a bike like I am now and then fucking come off, you know. Perhaps today's my lucky day. Uh, when I say, like, I've been lucky, I, I do think it is, uh, a lot of it's down to luck. I think on a bike, it's, uh, I mean, you're taking a risk just getting on a bike, and anything that happens after you've got on a bike is your fault, you know? Like, um, I see certain people, like, I saw, I mean, naming no names, but uh, he's, a, he's a vegan and he sometimes gets on a bike, right? Um, I see this attitude some people have to traffic where it's like, uh, they're kind of blaming other people for being bad drivers or, you know, like that dog, I like dog running out in front of me, like, you know, as if it's a dog's fault. The fact is, like, the traffic is what it is. Uh, you're like a guest on the road. Um, and you have to accept how, you have to accept what's happening and uh, be suitably cautious so that you don't end up getting caught out. But yeah, like uh, speaking of that, that other person, um, I think, uh, yeah, like that, that attitude of uh, being angry at other drivers and focusing on other drivers isn't really uh, good for your long-term health. Um, if anything, when crazy shit happens and there's crazy drivers on the road, it, I think it, you should like welcome it. You should be happy because it, it makes it makes the ride a bit more fun, a bit more of a challenge when there's somebody out there uh, trying to kill you. Basically, it gives you something to uh, focus on. You know, I'm getting rather far from the city now, um, and I'm quite. I don't know, I've got three bars of fuel. I don't know how far that gets you on one of these things. But I might, uh, I might head back soon. This might be the end of my first motorbike vlog. Uh, I'll be interested um, in what people think of the audio, because what I'm using for the audio is pretty basic. Uh, I just, uh, I just like, yeah, basically threw it together. I put my fucking dictaphone in a sock, is what I did. And now it's sticking out the bottom of the helmet, strapped to my face, so. I'm hoping the wind noise isn't too bad. This is like, this is just on 80k. Uh, hopefully the sock is doing the job. Oh, I think I'll pull over. And, uh, turn this vlog off and, and head back.